All right, guys, welcome back to our uh, Let's Play series. Um, today, I didn't really have very much in mind. Um, I was gonna kind of just go down into my mind a little bit, explore. Oh, where am I? Spider here somewhere. Aha! Oh no! There's a creeper right next to my 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 phone. Um. But yeah, I was thinking we can probably go down to the um, my mine today and just just kind of do some exploring. Um, I did find an area down there where there's some some slimes spawning, so I might want to check that out and see if I can't um, maybe find a slime chunk and start building my slime farm because I'm gonna need a lot of that. Uh, let's see. I should go down and feed my cows as well. Um, and you know what? I need to build myself a sword. <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a while. That would probably be a good thing though. And I think I do have enough diamond. Definitely have enough diamond to make it out of a... Uh, oh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make myself two diamond swords actually. There we go, cool. Also, um, I do like having a diamond sword. Why are there so many spiders here? Good lord. Not today, Mr. Creeper. Not today. Ha ha. You guys get away from my farm. Uh oh. Oh man, I got some flowing water here. Alright. Cool. I scared them all off, except for that guy. Ah. Kung Fu. Alright, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, head down, feed my cows. Then we'll head down even further into the mine. Um, if you didn't see when I opened that chest up top, I had quite a bit of uh, obsidian because I have been working on that in my spare time, uh, gathering obsidian for my gold farm that I'll be building shortly. And you know what? I think it's almost time to let these cows out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh! Oh no! I shouldn't have used that pickaxe. Dang it. They all fell down. Alright, well we're gonna have to do a little bit of safety maintenance here. And maybe I shouldn't be using this pickaxe right now. Oh man. That is uncool. I hopefully I have some other cows left up here. Let's find out. Nope, not a single cow. Jeez Louise. And you know what? This is probably a bad idea to be in here myself. Because I might get stuck. Let's go ahead and take care of some business real quick before I head over there. Man. That sucks. Alright. Alright, Mr. Cows. Hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on, cows. There you guys go. I right, go ahead and get back up there. Go, go, shoo. Get up there, cows. All right, well, looks like I'm going to have to do some maintenance on that. And so I think I'll go ahead and do that real quick, and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Oh, man, my cow farm. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, just finished digging out this first initial area. Um... It's pretty big uh, in size. I th wanna say it's about, let's see, 16, 32, 40, about 48 blocks long, and it's 16 blocks wide, um, this room. And so this is the initial uh, starting area, I guess you could say, of where my uh, slime farm's gonna go. Um, I still have to dig down, I wanna say about, maybe three more four more um blocks just to lay out the floor layering uh, and then i'm gonna have to dig up about 30 blocks in total and re just remove it all uh so, but the, basically the way that you want to do it is you want to have levels every three blocks so for example one two three uh this fourth block would be a layer and then you'd remove above it uh another three blocks and then have another layer 
and then remove another three blocks and then another layer because um, each layer it will be where the slimes would spawn um, and uh, I'll tell you more about how that'll work uh, another time um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and spend this next uh, next week or so uh, working on this slime farm uh, just clearing out the rooms and I'll just go ahead and uh, come down here every once in a while with my next couple of videos and show you the progress that I'm making on this uh, just so it just doesn't magically uh, like become finished all of a sudden uh, one of the things that I did kind of think about after the fact with this project is that uh, it is awfully close to um, my zombie farm so that might affect the spawn rates at which uh, the slimes spawn but I hope not uh, but then again I guess it's one of those things where we'll just kinda find out and uh, we'll see how it goes um, the next thing that I kinda wanna build for you guys is a um, let's see do I have enough granite? yeah I got more than enough granite uh, is gonna be a uh, automatic pumpkin and melon farm now uh, I don't have any melons of course but I do have some pumpkins um, I can kinda give you a, a brief uh, rundown on how it's gonna look as I do actually need some more slime blocks or slime balls in general uh, to make some sticky pistons um, and I only have two at this moment so oh wait this is the right way uh, so I'm definitely gonna need more of those which is why I'm making this slime factory let's go ahead and head on back up to the surface um, let's see I grab it in here I'll grab that uh, we'll head back up to the surface and let's see what is this? What is this? Oh, ah, lots of zombies as well. Uh, we'll head back up to the surface though and start working on that automatic pumpkin farm. Um, we're just gonna kind of wing it because I don't remember exactly how many uh, how many supplies you need of each thing. Uh, whether it be uh, redstone or uh, building blocks so we'll just go ahead and grab a bunch of everything and, and hope it works out uh, you are going to need a lot of hoppers for this build so if you don't have a lot of iron uh, you might need to hold off for a little bit uh, might have some iron and then come back to it another time oh no no oh man why dang it I guess that just goes to show I need some more torches in here. Ah, that was uncool to the max. Let's go ahead and throw all this stuff out. I'll come back and pick all that up, of course. Let's go ahead and, oh, that goes there. Let's see, I think I had that there. Oh man, he destroyed one of my power rails. G Willikers. That's gonna be horrible. All right, well, you also destroyed. Dang it! I'm a butt munch. Why is that guy gotta be so mean? All right, well, I guess I'll have to make some more. What the heck did I pick up? I don't even know. We'll go ahead and throw out that chicken because I already have a lot of steak. And that reminds me, I need to put a bucket of water in there. That way you know. This button means water. Let's go ahead and feed my cows as well. Press the water button. Go on up here. Oh, hello, Mr. Cows. Hello. Let's start repopulating since I did lose most of my cows with that unfortunate mining incident. Man, I can't believe there's a creeper right there. That's that's a holy cow. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and head up the surface. This actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a name for this thing. Let's call this. Um, you know, I don't know. Look at this. I'll let you guys decide what you want to call my base right now. I was thinking you can just call it platform. Uh, I, I kind of like that name. It's just clean and simple. Platform. Let's go to platform. That's kind of funny to say too. But uh, let's go ahead and prepare for what I'm going to be building. You know what? 
I think I'm gonna take all this granite and use the granite for it. A lot of granite. I didn't realize how much I had. Let's go ahead and drop off these materials. To be cooked. Cooked in the furnace. Haha. -ha. Alright, I don't think I'll need much more than that much granite. So let's just take four stacks for right now. Uh, drop off the stone. I am going to need eight pistons. I think I did make eight pistons already. Where did they go? Ah, right there. Eight pistons. Off of this. Let's go ahead and grab some more spruce. Wood. I'm going to more than that. Because I'm going to need a lot of chests for my hapals. Hapals. There we go. Let's put all this up. Nice, nice. Mm, that goes there. How many chests do I have now? 12 chests. I think I'm going to need more chests than that. Of course, 13 chests. And I'm going to need more iron, of course. And hoppers take up just so much iron. But good thing I don't really need my iron for anything else, really. And... There we go. Alright, so... I'm gonna need to make myself another bucket. There we go. And I'm gonna make myself two buckets actually. Just so I have to. Alright, so pistons, building materials. I'm um, gonna have to get some more wood soon, unfortunately. Let's drop off that iron. Uh, grab my torches. And let's see. Ooh, I need more torches. Ah, I'm gonna have to get some more wood. Because I need some more redstone. Um, Compare it. Not comparators. Uh, what are those things called? Um, repeaters. I'm gonna need some more repeaters here. It looks like I can make. What is this? Seven? Yeah, I'm gonna need just slightly more than that. And let's go ahead and grab some dirt as well. And I'm gonna need a little bit of dirt, not very much. So let's go ahead and uh, collect some more items. Uh, in particular, let's collect some more wood. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and I am back. So uh, we've collected all the items. I was able to make some more hoppers. Uh, got some chests and some stone slabs as well because uh, this is just about everything that we're going to need to make this build um, like I said before uh, you do need sticky pistons however I don't have any slime at this moment so we're just going to be using regular pistons as filler in the time alright let's see let's go ahead and drop that down there and we'll replace that there alright so uh, I've been thinking about where I want to build this and I haven't quite decided, but I wanted to build it somewhere close by, uh, somewhere that was accessible. So I was thinking maybe, hmm, over there, and I could build a, a pretty cool bridge that would go in between these two gaps. Uh, I guess I'll go back for our pumpkins in a little bit, and that's when I guess I'll, I'll build the bridge too at the same time. Um, so let's go ahead and clean off this platform, and uh. Go ahead and start this build up. Yeah, I think if I could get a nice little bridge from one side to the other, that would look pretty cool. Um, I have, have a couple designs that I could probably build for this bridge. Uh, you know, take some, um, what's it called? Cobblestone and make it look old fashioned, I guess. Maybe like uh, medieval times or something like that. Alright, just about done don't really need very much space for this to go in but I do want it to look kind of nice so uh, let's go ahead and start this build off um, so to start things off you're gonna need your building material your slab and uh, let's go ahead and grab our dirt as well uh, we can worry about the the water in a little bit as it doesn't really matter at this point so let's go ahead and dig out this ground just a little bit three blocks wide just giving us the proper amount of space that we need here 
and then we're going to go ahead and fill this in with stone slab followed by granite followed by stone slab followed by granite and so forth and so forth just like this uh, you know what all the way down to the end doesn't really matter how many times actually uh, might mean to make this four wide yeah let's make this four wide next up you're gonna go ahead and take a row of dirt and you're gonna skip one space and run it all the way down just like so and then you're gonna go ahead and take your hoppers and while holding shift you're gonna shift click putting it into the dirt just like so see that the way the hopper is facing it goes into the dirt you're gonna go one one oops right next to the other one make sure you just fill in the space and skip one fill in a space skip one now in these blank sections this is where water will go so I'm gonna go ahead and dig out a small area so I can make myself an unlimited source just like that and now I can fill this in with water all the way down to the end alright just like that and then let's go ahead and fill this back in uh, grab my two buckets of water always nice to have just like that awesome alright and then along the back you're also going to want to do the same uh, so let's go ahead and move this dirt out of the way just give me a, a little bit more space to work with I don't want to be squished here and grab my pickaxe there we go cool and we'll take out this row too just so we can get a little bit of better view of what's going on here alright so on the back side you're gonna do exactly the same thing hopper 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 right into the back of this dirt just like it was the other way see how it's facing inward alright uh, next thing that we're gonna have to do we're gonna dig out this end and we're gonna have to go actually underneath these hoppers so let's go ahead and dig down two blocks on each side just like this there we go alright now one thing you are gonna have to watch out for is this water supply so you're just gonna go ahead and skip one block each time and you can also leave uh, this row uh, open a little bit but you don't want to uh, what's it called leave the stone there as when you take this hopper you're gonna wanna face it inward so let's just put this hopper here for example this hopper is gonna have to face into it uh, so you might even wanna dig out let's go ahead and dig out this underneath where you placed your slabs just so you can get the right angle and then we'll punch that out from the back side yeah that'll actually work a little bit better there we go awesome so you'll eventually fill this back in of course uh, but just for right now let's go ahead and keep it open uh, so at the end of this row, this is where your chest is going to go. So let's go ahead and put the chest in its place, just temporarily, just like that. And then you're going to want to take your hoppers and then run them right into the back of each other, all the way down till you get to the end. See that? All right. But let's go ahead and knock that one out, just because I have to come back in and fill these hoppers alright and just like I did before right into the back of that hopper so anything that goes into this hopper will be dispensed into there which then goes into there which then goes into the chest and that goes there 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 alright and then like I said before you can go ahead and fill this in all the way um, as you don't really need it you can choose to leave it open if you want in case you want to do maintenance on it uh, or change anything up I guess along those lines so one last hopper needs to go right here 
Let's go ahead and dig that out. Give me a little more space. Hopper into the back and hopper right into there. So let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six more hoppers to finish this build up. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this area in with blocks. And I'm going to go grab the materials to go build those hoppers. Uh, and I will be right back. All right, guys, and uh, we're back. And as you can see, I'm kind of having a little bit of a uh, pest problems. Um, cut these pesky creepers creeping about. Oh no! Ha <laughs> ha! Spider. Jeez, Louise. All right, well, I'm gonna have to fix all that a little bit later. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get these torches up because I kind of forgot to do that in the daytime. Whew thought they were going to destroy my progress over here. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Man, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fill in the back of this. With this material granite. And let's go ahead and go on down below with these hoppers and uh, fill those in as well. Eat this food real quick. Alright, so all these hoppers need to run into the hopper next to it. Just like that. And I just realized I forgot to bring over some stone with me. So let's go ahead and grab some stone real quick. So I can fill in those spaces behind. There we go. And we'll go ahead and toss out. Let's toss out a bucket of water. Yeah, just do that in the meantime. Actually, you know what? I can just toss my axe into this hopper and it should show up at the end. We'll find out soon enough. Ah, there you go. It's good to know it's working. Alright, so go ahead and throw these two in. Hopper into the back. These two in. Hopper into the back. And so forth and so forth. And make sure, yeah, we're right below it. And one more hopper. That's just about it. And fill that in all the way around. There we go. And you know what? Just to make it look nicer, I think I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Just like that. There we go. That way it's all the way around. Alright, now on this back side, we're going to have to do the same thing with the water like we did on the other side. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig out our unlimited water source real quick. And you know what? We're going to do this one a little bit differently. Oops. Water block there. Water source there. Just like that. Oops, took it from the side. No! Aw, oh, man. Oh, it worked out just perfectly. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and go down here and take this out as well. Make it match on each side. Just so it looks a little bit nicer. There we go. Alright, now the last thing that we're going to do is some of the redstone wiring. So let's go ahead and adjust everything real quick and pistons, redstone, just like that and yeah that should be good alright and then what we're gonna go ahead and have to do is we're gonna lay our redstone repeaters right here on top of this front hopper just like so alright and then we're gonna come across this back let's go ahead and lay a row of this granite block. Oops. That should end up in the hopper. And if it doesn't, then we'll know it's not working. Haha. <laughs> Alright, and then after that, like I said, we're gonna have to go ahead and lay this redstone wiring across the front. Um and that's gonna go a dot of redstone right on top of 
that. Just like so. There we go. And then we're going to run a line of redstone just like that across the front. Cool. Very cool. Redstone torch, redstone torch, redstone torch. All right. And then in between these redstone torches, we're just going to go ahead and place a um, torch just so we can see a little bit better and give us the vision that we need. And then after that's done, we're going to go ahead and dig down because we are going to have to go ahead and place a redstone torch right underneath these granite blocks. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just to give you a better vision of what's happening. We're going to take the redstone torch and place it right there underneath this granite block. So if we go back up to the surface, dun, 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 it powers it. Uh, just like that. You only need to do it underneath one. You don't have to do it under all of them. Um, and that should give you all the necessary power that you need. So then we're going to go ahead and come up here and we're going to go ahead and fill in in between these blocks all the way down to the end yeah just like that gaps in between gaps in between and then next you're gonna go ahead and take a redstone torch place it right up on top just like so and then you're gonna take your pistons and while uh, clicking on the redstone torch, you're just going to see, you see that how there's a little box around it? You're going to want to click on the box closest to you. And you're going to put the sticky piston upside down. Just like that. Perfect. Alright. Now that you're set for that, um, the only thing left to do is to plant your seeds. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to have to go back and get a hoe also. So let's go ahead and head back grab a little bit more granite and uh, what is that yeah let's grab a little bit more granite and then we'll work on building our bridge as well hello mr. spider you seem to be a little bit stuck he did he was stuck I helped him out of the situation a little piece of sugar cane on the way back all right so like I said I had a couple of ideas for this bridge so I'm gonna actually grab some more stone while we're here as well um, because the stone is what I was gonna use to make these bricks which then I wanted to kind of make it out of the bricks let's go and grab those mm, don't want to bring stone slabs I think I'll bring stone slabs yeah and you know what let's bring some glass too and some glowstone. Let's go ahead and drop off this bucket then. Good, good. All right, let's go ahead and build some fences real quick. I don't even know if you can build it out of this. We'll find out. Nope, doesn't look like you can build it out of fences, but do not worry as I have cobblestone. Let's go ahead and switch that out and we'll drop this off in here there we go more cobblestone there we go and that will give me the fencing that I need for my bridge that was pretty quick and efficient Let's go and grab a little bit more granite as well. And what did I say? I feel like I said I was going to get something else. Oh, a hoe. That's right. And seeds. That would have been unfortunate. Ah, there we go. Pumpkins. I think I only need three. Let's see how many seeds that gives me. Yeah, it gives me more than enough. Okay. And where's my hoe? Oh, I know you're around here somewhere, ho. There it is. Okay. And with my handy dandy ho, I shall take care of that mess. Let's 
go ahead and head on back. And you know what? Actually, let's get some bone meal too. Just so I can show you how this works real quick. Yeah. And I'll swap a bottle for it. Bone meal. The greatest invention since... I don't know. 1972. Just put a random date on it. Alright. So head on on back make a pretty cool looking bridge too I'll do that in my next episode though let's go ahead and fill this in give this a nice closed in look to it there we go and fill in the corner nice nice and I think I'll even put a roof on it in a second but let's go ahead and hoe this dirt just go right in between where the water is and drop your seeds just like so and let's go ahead and use this bone meal now this will work for pumpkins as well as watermelons um, I wish I could show you how it worked um, I only got two pieces of sticky slime blocks unfortunately but the pumpkins will grow on these open spaces and the piston will activate and press down a block just like that um, let's see, I don't really think there's anything I can put there right now that would collapse. Um, but anyway, the block will push down, forcing the pumpkin into the hoppers, which then gets collected and distributed. So then you never have to really worry about doing any, uh, work on this farm. It's already set to go from this point. Um, assuming you have sticky pistons, of course. Um and then you just need to come back and check on it every once in a while and make sure that it's uh it's uh got space still left in the chest that's really about it um it runs itself which is pretty fantastic because uh, that that means all you gotta do is uh check every i don't know so often just like i do with uh the sugarcane farm just come back and check it every so often and make sure it's a uh, it's cut space still. All right, looks like we're uh, we're done here. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hopefully we can get some of those sticky uh, pistons going, or, or some yeah sticky pistons, and get those uh, forcing those melons and water or melons and pumpkins into that hopper. Till next time.